Hey guys, Maxil here, and welcome back to Let's Play Five Days a Stranger. The last part, we had some really messed up dreams. I told you, Trilby, junk food before sleep equals nightmares. Alrighty. Um, we should probably check up on that article that, um, Philip gave us. An article cut from a magazine called Treasure Hunting Monthly, The Mystery of the Fall Manor. More notoriously, Stately Holmes is renowned for being a great source of blah blah blah, blah blah blah, just a blur but along with the sun, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Alrighty, now that that was read, nothing of importance in there. Let's head out. Dooby dooby doo, let's go outside. It's Phil! How you doing, douche? Hmm. Seems like the painting changed again. It's a portrait of a wizened, bearded old man in a safari suit. The plaque reads, Sir Roderick Defoe. Interesting. Let's see if, uh, Mr. Philip here has anything to say after getting pwned. Leave me alone, Cat Bregler. Feeling any better this morning? Yeah. Where are you? Oh, I'm just peaches. Now go away. What are you doing? None of your business. Are those maps of the house? <sighs> yes, they're maps. I'm going to find a way out, then I'm going to get away from this madhouse once and for all. And after that, if I ever see your smug pinstripe wearing face again, it'll be a million years too soon. What's wrong with pinstripe? Come on, Phil. None of us could possibly have killed AJ. You want to bet? You're over six foot. You could have done it easily. Maybe I could have, but I didn't. Prove it. You know I can't. Well then. You know, your attitude could be the death of us. It's certainly going to be the death of you if you don't get out of my face. So, oh, okay. You're right, getting threatening. Well, catch you later. Hmm. <laughs> Jerk. Man. Let's take a look at those papers Phil's reading. Those maps. Don't see anything important, Trilby? Alrighty. Let's leave, uh, Mr. D-Bag to his work. Let's head outside to see if anything interesting has happened. And what's this? I just found it out here like this. Do you know whose it is? Yeah, it's mine. Trilby's car. Did you bring it in here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard, and there's no way in the front into the front yard. Maybe someone's trying to help us. Maybe. I'll go and find the others and let them know about it. Sure. Later, Jim. Well, I wonder how our car got in here. Great! My lockpicks are here. Huzzah! Lockpicks! They must have fallen out of my pocket while I was getting out of the car. I'll hide an emergency pick in the lining of my tie like I usually do. Oh, Trilby, you're so smart. Alrighty. Let's go to this door. Locked. Well, we have something for locked doors. Yes. Oh, wait. Let us use lockpicks on door. There we go. Good job, Trilby. Now let's head inside. Hmm a pickaxe. We'll want that. Thank you. And a double-handed saw thing. Wonderful. Hmm. Maybe we can saw this tree. You know, maybe it'll knock over the wall. You never know. So let's use this saw on the tree. This is not a one-man job barnacles. 
Well, I don't think Philip's gonna help us, so let's go see if uh, Jim will. <coughs> Jack hat. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, Philip. Gotta back off. It's Jim. Hey, Jim. Will you help us out, Jim? Jim? Yes. Hmm. What do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much research into the house as we can. Well, what are you doing? I'm just looking for stuff on the house. Why? Don't know. Yes, you do, Jim. Why? Because I want to help. But I'm not sure what I could do. You want to tag along with me, Jim? Sure. Problem's not to get in the way. You better not. I hate teenagers. So you better not get in my way, Jim. Where's Jim? Is he coming? Oh, there he goes. Jerk. No! Trouble. Down the stairs. Don't scare me like that, Jim. Jesus. Yes, Jim. Come along, Jim. Ignore Mr. Frumpy Pants over here. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> oh, man, we both got cold now, Philip. Don't mind me and Jim. We're gonna be productive. You know why? Because we're not jerks to each other. Alrighty. Now that we have Jim with us, now maybe we can use that saw. Jim, give me a hand with this, will ya? Be a pal. Wee Timber! Why did we cut the tree down, Mr. Trovey? Not exactly sure. I know it makes me feel better. <laughs> Well, alrighty, Trilby. If you say so, dude. Yeah, alright. I guess Jim's done following us. Well, that works. Oh, no, there he is. <coughs> Asshole. <coughs> Ass. <coughs> oh, Philip. If only you knew how fake our coughs really were. Hmm, maybe now that we have lockpicks, we can open up this door right here. Let's try it out. Let's use our lockpicks. On the door. There we go, unlocked. Wonderful. So let's head inside. Hmm, let's check the wardrobe. Any good clothes in here? Can't really see. Ah, oh, there's a book. Hmm, let's read the book. It's a diary. Uh-oh. You're not supposed to read diaries, Trilby. That's personal. The Diary of Sir Roderick Defoe. March 5th, 1805. Work on the house is going well. It should be completed by the end of July. Belinda is already excited about the forthcoming wedding. It spends many hours of the day going over even the smallest details over and over again. Not since our early courtship has she been so giddy with joy. It softens my heart to see her smile, and she smiles often. I'm wondering why I don't retire sooner. On August 12th, I am only now having the opportunity to write, as has been the most hectic day. The wedding went without a hitch, and the house was ready for us to move in as soon as the ceremony was over. Blah, blah, blah. A romantic day. Belinda is with a child. Blah, blah, blah. June 28th. Belinda is dead. I will never forget her face... Ash Gray, contorted with pain, the child is healthy. Would that it had never come about and spared me this fresh hell. Matthew showed me the painting on March 24th of the grounds he had created. I worry about the boy. Why can't he have healthier interests like soldiering? The painting was fair, I suppose, but I would rather my child be less of a weakling. 
June 28th, 1821, is the anniversary of the night I unleashed a horror. A horror which I tonight shall remove from this world. May God forgive me. That's the last entry. Oh God, what did you do? Well guys, on next time, when we play Five Days a Stranger, maybe we'll find out what this horror he unleashed was. Until then guys, I'm Maxwell. See you later.